Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today I have for you a blood glucose ketones test. What I like to do with these videos is take a product that a lot of us in the keto community eat and test my blood glucose and ketone levels to see how they're affected. I do this at the 30 minute, one hour, and two hour mark, and I finally take my ketone levels at the two hour mark to compare them to baseline my fasting ketone levels. I have an entire playlist of these videos if you'd like to go check them out. I'll link them below in the description box and I'll also have them in the cards for you right here. So if you are new to my channel, I'd love to go ahead and have you as a member of my YouTube family. I do what I eat in a day videos. I also do grocery hauls, meal plans, meal preps, tons of keto related videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that way when I upload, you'll be the first to know. I do have a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. It'll be linked in the description box also. So all you gotta do is just click on that. It'll take you right over there. We're approaching 10,000 members, I believe, and it's amazing. No keto police. Everyone is supportive, helpful, um, encouraging. It's just really a group that I pride myself on. So make sure you go over there and check it out. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I post over there daily in my stories. So right here will be my name. Make sure you go over there and follow me too. Really quickly though, if you're watching this video May 18th through the 22nd, I wanted to let you know about Perfect Keto's deal that they have. They have launched a new snack box and you have three different varieties to choose from. Inside the snack box, you will get two nut butters, a box of their new cookies, and also a box of their Perfect Keto bars, which I adore. This box is put together and already discounted at 25% off, making it $68.98. So if you wanna check it out, I'll have that all down below. Now, let's talk about the product we're testing today. And this is actually a new product for me. I have never had this product before. This is the Missions Carb Balance Flour Tortillas. And you guys talk about these all the time. Many people that do lazy or dirty keto eat these. I'd say probably not clean keto, but us in the dirty keto community consume tortilla shells. If you're part of the community that doesn't, I completely understand, but this may not be a video for you. I picked these up at Sam's, but I know they have these at Walmart, grocery stores, tons of places that you can find the low carb tortilla wraps. Let's take a second, go over macros and ingredients for those of you that want to know. So your macros on this, one tortilla is a serving. So you get the whole thing. And that is 70 calories, three fat, five protein, 19 total carbs, and 15 dietary fiber. So that brings one tortilla shell down to four net carbs. Honestly, there's like a laundry list of tiny words down here. That's the ingredients, so bear with me. We have water as our main ingredient, modified wheat starch, enriched bleached flour, and then it breaks down everything that's in that. Wheat gluten, vegetable shortening, wheat gluten isolate, and then contains 2% or less of salt, baking soda, sodium acid phosphate, glucose gum, distilled monoglycerides, sucralose, fumaric acid, calcium, calcium proponate, not sure, and sorbic acid. So if you are striving for strict keto, living a clean lifestyle, not for you. But if you are in the growing community of dirty keto followers that are living healthy, losing weight, and feeling great, and this tests good, not so bad. The brand I usually pick up is different from this. I believe it is a wheat tortilla. I show it in my hauls all the time. But when I consume one of them, I only consume half at a time because of course I'm filling it up with tons of other foods. So I never have ate an entire tortilla shell before. I know, shocking. So I'm gonna go through the same deal I do in every other video. We're gonna talk about what I'm using to test on and I'm using the Keto Mojo. It's my favorite because it is a blood glucose and ketones monitor. Meaning I only need this one little monitor to test both. So that's why I use this one. 
If you're interested in getting a blood glucose slash ketones monitor in one, I will have the Keto Mojo linked below along with the discount. So all you gotta do is click on that. It'll take you over there and apply the discount automatically. If you are only looking for a ketones monitor, then Keto Coach is probably for you. I also have a discount code for them. It'll be linked down below if you just wanna go check them out. This is something I do in every single video now. Just to clarify, before we test, I want you to know what we're looking for. So this is from the Keto Mojo website, and I'm gonna read exactly what we're trying to find here. So generally speaking, you don't want your blood glucose to spike more than 30 milligrams from your baseline. And ideally, your blood sugar should return to baseline within two hours. If it doesn't, you may be having an insulin response to the food and may want to consider reducing or eliminating it from your diet. So we don't want a spike over 30 points. Sounds simple enough, so let's go ahead and get started with today's test. Do you guys ever just have one of those mornings? Because I am, and let me show you what I mean. It's 9.18. I'm usually up doing these way before 9.18, but I woke up at five o'clock this morning and could not go back to sleep. By the time I finally dozed back off, blah, blah, blah. Now it's 9.18. So let's go ahead and start out with blood glucose. Let's see what my blood sugar level is for you guys. 87. And that's on a really bad night's sleep. Really bad. Now I'm gonna check my ketone levels and see where those are at. This one does take just a few seconds longer than the blood glucose. Yeah, I think you guys can see. 0 0.6, not the best, not the best, but still in ketosis, still burning ketones as fuel. I'm gonna go with probably from my horrible night's sleep. I'm sure we already went over this in the beginning, but we are testing the missions, carb balance, which means they're carb friendly, which means they're keto, right? <laughs> Flour tortillas. Oh, there's so many things here that are going to trigger some of the people that watch these videos. Here's what it looks like, and I'm eating nothing with it. That's right, I want this to be a test only on this tortilla shell, not the ingredients that I'm putting in it, not the other stuff I'm putting in my body. I want this to be a test only on this tortilla. And my main concern is ketone levels. So we're going to see what happens to your ketones when you eat one of these. This is going to be fun. This would be much better if I had this as a breakfast burrito right now instead of just this. Just this. This is all I got going on. And I'm not even drinking anything because I keep it that simple and spot on for you guys. Just the product. <laughs> okay, let's talk about, this is actually the first time I've ever had the Carb Balance uh, Missions Tortillas. I usually get a different brand that I pick up. You can see how far I am into this, about a third of the way. I'm not sure how I feel about these. Just like this, not so great. They have this weird taste to them, but I'm sure once you load these up with bacon and eggs and cheese and all that good stuff, you're not even going to taste the tortilla shell. It's just, you know, the wrap that gets the rest of it into your body. Or if you make tacos or, you know, lunch sandwiches with meat, cheese, mayo, all that good stuff. But have you guys ever just tasted one of these alone? If not, do it. Just taste one of these alone and see if you get that same weird taste going on in your mouth. I feel like this is taking forever. Last bite. Okay, I finished up at 9.30 and honestly, that was brutal, brutal. I do not suggest eating one of those alone. Okay, I will see you back in 30 minutes, so that will be 10 o'clock to take our first test. I'm usually ready by now, but guys, not feeling it this morning. There you go, it's 10 o'clock, so it's been exactly 30 minutes. Let's see where we stand. 
And of course now the wind's gonna start blowing. Oh, not bad, 93. Then again, I didn't think that there would be a huge blood glucose spike. What I'm worried about most is ketone levels. That's what's got me thinking this may not be good. This may knock me out of ketosis. But 93 after 30 minutes, not too shabby. I'll see you back in 30 minutes for the one hour check and that'll be 1030. Okay, I did manage to get ready. We are at 1030. It is exactly one hour into this test and we're gonna do blood glucose again. Are we ready? I don't expect a significant change, but we'll see. Of course, the wind's gonna start blowing. There we go. Still exactly the same at 93. Like I said, I didn't expect anything significant because there wasn't that initial 30 minute spike right in the beginning. So I thought it would either hover around the same or start to go down. I'll see you at the two hour mark. And that's when we're going to check the most important thing, my ketone levels to see if it knocked me out of ketosis. Let's see what time it is. I think I'm a few seconds early, literally. It's 11.29. So I'm just a few seconds early cause I'm ready to eat people. I'm starving. I'm gonna start out with blood glucose and this is at the two hour mark now. Let's see. What, what, why are we going up Christy? What? That makes absolutely no sense that now at the two hour mark, I'm up to 102. Okay, I don't even know what to think. At two hours, I'm supposed to be returning to baseline not continuing to go up. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm not feeling good about the ketone test at all. Not feeling good. I have a bad, bad feeling because let's just see where it's at. It's starting to rain. <laughs> okay. So at two hours, it did not knock me out of ketosis. That's, um, I don't even know what to think. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments below what you're feeling right now. At the two hour mark, you should be returning to baseline if you're not having an insulin response. Basically, let's do the conclusions now. I started out this morning with a fasting blood glucose of 87 and my ketone levels were 0.6. So those were okay numbers. At the 30 minute mark after eating this bad boy, I had went up to 93 as my blood glucose. At the one hour mark, I was still at 93. Everything seemed great, right? So now at the two hour, which is probably your most important mark, your body is being affected, everything should be returning to normal, you should be digesting all of that, should be, you know, normal, getting back to normal. At the two hour mark, I've continued to go up. I was at 102, 102. Now, granted, that is only 15 points up from my initial baseline or fasting blood glucose level. 15 points, not bad. The point is, at the two hour mark, we should be going down and trying to get back to that number, not continuing to go up. The good news in all this was, at the two hour mark, it did not knock me out of ketosis. My ketone level was still above 0.5, and that's what you want, and I was at 0.8, and I was initially, when fasting this morning, at 0.6. Now remember, that was an entire tortilla shell, which I never eat, I usually eat half, and it's usually loaded with tons of proteins and fats, which may sort of make things stable out, maybe? And while I'm at it, let me go ahead and throw this little disclaimer at you. In my opinion, I think it is best for each individual person to test their self to see if a product they plan on consuming on a regular basis affects them and how it affects them because we're all different, right? Everybody's different. Okay, here's what I think about these. I will continue to eat them, but not on a regular basis. These will be something that I have 
probably few and far between, but I already was doing that anyways. Probably only half a tortilla shell every week and a half, two weeks. They honestly just aren't one of my go-to foods. Like I said, definitely dirty keto, but do what's right for you. Okay, that is all I have for today's video. I'm excited to see your all's comments and reactions and tell me what you think about this test. Put it down below for me so you know I read every one of them and I'll get back to you. I'll see you in the next video and if you have a suggestion of what you would like for me to test in the next video, go ahead and let me know. Bye guys.